Hello, dear viewers. Thank you for joining me for your daily tarot reading. I always ask you, pick the stone that draws you, the one that really calls to you. And I will do a golden nugget stone at the end. For anybody who wants a little clarification, I pick one card at the end. And we'll begin. All right. For those of you who chose the tiger's eye, we have the six of coins, the magician, and the five of wands. Interesting. So the magician is about the power to manifest. Definitely power happening there. Bringing forth everything you need to bring forth. Extra oomph might be a good day to, to declare some things, to speak some things into existence. Like, I'm getting better and better at this or that. I'm really making progress on that. I just know that I will have terrific good luck and good fortune in this. Those kinds of things may be a good, good day for manifesting. And the six of coins. Now that is about, I feel like that's about having faith that you have the security to be giving. I like the six of coins because no matter whether you see yourself as the giver or the receiver, there's, there's some, you know, there's, there, there are coins, <laughs> you know, there are coins, you know, it's like, there is enough. I feel like this is probably more from the giver perspective here today, sort of like, yes, I am doing well. And, and sometimes giving is an act of faith, right? We're saying, we're going to um, have better and better finances. Um, we see the money coming in. We feel we feel that we have a good financial future and give a little bit, sometimes giving just a little bit um, when you normally wouldn't sort of expresses that, you know, it's, it's a way of acting on that belief if you are into manifesting. And then we have the five of wands. That's a little bit of conflict. I don't know if there's conflict around you or disagreement around you or if this is internal conflict, but I just feel like that's not your main focus today. If it's going on over there in the corner or, or going on in the back of your mind, I really think that the main focus today is manifestation. It really is. The five of wands doesn't need, it can be healthy debate for goodness sakes. I mean, it doesn't need to even be anything um, negative. But the magician is, that power is, I am going to focus on what I am manifesting today and how powerful I am to manifest what I want to manifest. We're not going to get caught up in petty things. You know, it's like, I feel like we have so much more power than we know we do. And the Spirit is truly talking to you today about your power to, to bring about the things that you want to bring about. So, I like that. That's a good reading. For those of you who chose the sit... Did I do? Wait a minute. I think I did this one next. Hmm. No, no, no. It was the citrine in the middle, wasn't it? Sometimes it's hard for me to remember. I move these cards around. The citrine, the white stone with the with the yellow. We have the fool card as your as your major arcana. You have the seven of swords and you have the four of swords. Well, this is a very interesting con collection of cards. So the fool card, that's that new beginning energy. That's beckoning. That's a feeling inside like there's something new. Maybe you, you're tempted to try a new adventure or or head out in a new um, direction and you may not have all the answers but you really feel like there's a new beginning coming in now the four of swords is retreat and the seven of swords is perhaps someone is taking more than their share for fair share trying to get away with something but gosh i just see it as so inconsequential in this reading because your energy is with the fool and with the four of swords. It's sort of like um, there's a new beginning coming up in you and other people, even if there's somebody in your environment who is 
got a hidden agenda or yeah, trying to take more than their fair share or something going on. And that could be your immediate environment or that could be in a larger sense as well. It doesn't really matter too much because the four of swords person is at peace. Um, he is putting all worries on the wall. He is not worrying about them. He is meditative. He is taking good care of himself. He's resting, you know? So I just feel like power welling up within him. And it may not even look like he's got that power. It may look like he's down. It may look like there's been something that has been hard on him. Maybe he even feels that. But look at the power welling up inside. And with that Fool card, the power not only coming from inside, but from the universe, this new beginning coming in. There is something amazing that is coming in. And other people may not see it. You may str have a struggle to see it because you might be feeling a little like you need to take care of yourself. You might be feeling a little worn or a little... Um, Yeah, sort of um, the stress has affected you. Stressful thoughts have affected you. But there is re rejuvenation and renewal. And even coming out of that rejuvenation and renewal into a new beginning. So this is a good reading. Sometimes it's nice to get a validation if you have a sense that there is something happening internally that will be very good. Sometimes it's nice to see that kind of validation in the reading. And even if you're not entirely feeling it yet, because that Four of Swords would suggest you may not be, but you may have an inkling. Okay, for those of you who chose the green spotted stone, we have all minor arcana, so not a big decision-making kind of day today. And Seven of Cups, you're always encouraged to Consider the positives in the cups. Look forward and see positives coming in in your life, not negatives, not with doom and gloom, even the unknown. Consider it, consider it positive, you know, build castles in the air. When you think about the future, it's a discipline. Take some time to daydream a little bit and think about what, what you'd like to come in and envision it. We, we do need to do that. It helps us to open the door for that to come in. It helps us to identify if we have any fears or barriers that may be operating and, and even um, blocking our way to accepting better for ourselves. It's good to look at that too. The three, the seven of coins is... Ah, some dissatisfaction perhaps, like that's the harvest is rich, but the worker's not satisfied, maybe not satisfied with work, maybe wondering if it's enough, but that is, but there is a harvest there, right? And the three of coins would suggest whatever sources of security you have in your life, you're actually building them. You're building and your work is appreciated. You know, you're, you're building perhaps in consultation with others, perhaps with the support of others, information from others. You're building something beautiful. It may not feel very well established yet as the three of coins, but it's building. So I'm thinking you're, you are asked to look first at, at what you do have, what you have created, what you have um, harvested, what is there. And not to focus on lack, on what's not, and, and consider that you're building even better in and expect better for the future. That's what I'm seeing here. So very interesting, good group of cards. And for those of you who'd like a little more clarification from the Golden Nugget, we have the Three of Wands. Okay, if you're wondering, you know, you kind of were wondering when I was doing these readings, but I'm not really seeing it or, or when, or maybe even you've had some frustration, like, but, but this new beginning, new beginnings or new and good things coming in, I, they're not here yet. That three of wands is definitely saying, wait a minute. And in the present, what we do is we invest our efforts that three wands invest some efforts and then look forward with the positive expectation that it'll work. So sometimes um, we give up before we start, you know, 
um, we get an inkling that some good thing could come in, but then we think, oh, well, how's that going to happen? You know, and so we don't, we don't get to the next step of investing the efforts. The three of wands can either say, please do that and it will pay off in the end, or it can say, hey, you have been investing effort. You do have every reason to expect that this will pay off and maybe in unforeseen ways, because we can say that too. This will pay off in unforeseen ways. We don't exactly know, but our efforts and um, whatever we're enthusiastic about, whatever we feel purposeful about, and we 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 do, we continue to do. They it does pay off. It does pay off in the long run. So we need to look forward with positive expectation. I think. All right. Well, I thank you all so much. You have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.